We're going to have a special guest instructor. So you guys going to sit on this wall. It's a big name and it might be someone I'm having a match against right. coming up. Yeah, but you've got to face the wall. Oh. Heads down, ashes up. Facing the wall. <laughs> Pull them down. <laughs> we got a special guest. Alright guys, face the wall, close your eyes, hold hands. Hello, my students. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I didn't have my glasses on. Out of the corner of my eye, I see a guy wearing a fanny pack, wearing like these white shoes, a rash guard. I was like, is that John Donaher? You don't wear a rash guard with normal clothes, except for this one guy that wears it all the time. He steps out onto the mat, but as soon as I heard his voice, I was like, yo, this is the sewer rat. He's back. <laughs> So Sewer Rat was there on the first day. Craig gave Sewer Rat his brown belt about 30 minutes after he met him. And then Craig hit me up that night, said, hey, do you mind if I bring him on as my assistant coach? So he canceled his flight. Next thing I know, Sewer Rat's beard shaved, head shaved, he's wearing a rash guard. He's dressed like John Danaher. So I'm here to demonstrate a move that was shown last night. Is the classic drop sayinagi, or in colloquial Sewer Rat terms, the miso sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The key to this technique is distraction. We're trying to disorient our opponent and mess with his visual perceptions. You see how the eye works is there's an iris, a pupil, a cornea, and a lens that feeds back to the optical nerve in the back of the eye. So we're trying to disrupt the entire visual process that's going on. <laughs> the way we maximize this technique is my five foundational principles called the scratch pass gas method. Have you ever done the spoon before? You felt this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna step back and then drop my body. Me so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> you hate to do it, but you love it at the same time. <laughs> I love how you do those.